Hi, welcome to Yoga Gentle Yoga Mobility and Breathwork with me. I'm Rebecca Little, and today we are going to go through a gentle warm up. The Sun Salutation A's, we'll do three, and then we're going to learn and do, if you don't already know, we're learning the Sun Salutation B's. We're going to do three of those um, so that'll get our blood flowing. Um, and then after, right after that, we're going to move into some easy supine, seated and supine postures because I am. I have not done any mobility or yoga for like three days and I'm tight. If you are a tight, muscly beast like me, then all of this will always feel good. Um, a lot of posterior stretches, hamstrings, glutes, lower back. And then I'm going to move in. I'm gonna to try to remember to do my mobility today, roll on my glutes and lower back for about two to five minutes per side. And then I am also prepared with my earbuds and my face mask to do a little three to five minute meditation at the end. So if you wanna make sure you have these things to do it with me or just move through the gentle yoga with me and then maybe close your eyes at the end for a couple minutes and just listen to the sound of your breath, focusing on that third eye right behind your forehead. Okay, let's get started, let's get centered. Um, so we're just coming to a nice comfy seated position wherever that is for you. If it's not so comfortable to sit, you can put your back against a wall, you can put a block under your butt, um, but however is comfortable for you. Move this a little closer. Close your eyes and let's just take a moment to ask ourselves, how are we feeling physically? I'm so tight, you can just answer to yourself or out loud if it helps you focus. Hmm. How are you feeling mentally? Pretty good, or a lot of chatter, a lot of stress, a lot of thinking about later or what happened yesterday. Let's try to take the next, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, however long you have here to let it all go. Let it all, whatever's going on in your mind, whatever you have to do later, let it fizzle into the background. Just put it down for a little bit. Allow yourself this time to just focus inward. How are you feeling emotionally? Pretty even, a little sad, kind of energized. Honor that. If at any point anything is too much, you're feeling, listen to how you're feeling. You can always drop down into child's pose. This is a safe place. It's for recovery and rest. And how are you feeling spiritually? Take this time to just connect to something a little deeper within. If that resonates you, with you, and if it doesn't, just take the time to give your mind a break. Let's focus on our breath. One hand on our lower belly, one on our chest. And we're breathing in through our nose and out through our nose. On the inhale, press out that belly, rib cage. Try to expand it. Let it all relax. And then chest. As you exhale through the nose, listen to the sound of your breath as it hums down your throat. Constrict the back of your throat a little bit. Chest, rib cage pulls in, then abdominals and pelvic floor tighten. And just keep reversing. Keep going through those motions. Inhale, belly, rib cage, chest. Exhale through the nose. Chest, ribs, belly. Two more. Relaxing your forehead. On the inhale, let the crown of your head reach to the ceiling. And on the exhale, let your shoulders relax, your face relax. Good. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale them down. Just getting comfortable connecting our breath to our movement. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale, just one arm down, side bend. Reach and bend on the exhale. Inhale, both arms together over the shoulders. Exhale, side bend on the other side. And one more time, each side moving with your breath. Inhale up. Exhale down. Beautiful. On your next inhale, arms stay up. Bring your hands to your shoulders. Let's do um, some elbow rolls here. Good, fluttering your eyes open. If they're not already open, good. And reverse the direction. 
If you're going forward like me, I like to just add in my whole spine, pressing my chest forward and rounding. Good. All right, let's come to all fours and prime our wrists for our sun salutation. So our hands are right underneath our shoulders, knees are under our hips, and we're just rocking forward and backward, stretching out the forearms. Beautiful. Good, and turn your fingers toward you. Good. A little deeper. If that's a little too intense, you can just go side to side, start there. So your fingers point toward the side walls, the sides of your mat. Good, and now I'm gonna go a little deeper, pointing my fingers toward me. If this feels a little too uncomfortable, then just don't shift so far back and just go with whatever stretch feels good. All right, now I'm gonna flip my one palm over, um, controlling how much pressure I put here, just so I get a little stretch, no pain, never any pain. And flipping. Just showing those forearms some love so that we don't end up with an annoying wrist injury that prevents so much ac fun activity and lifting and everything. Okay, and as you We'll just do a little cat cow, but remembering when you are doing your down dogs and everything on your mat, remembering your fingers are spread wide. You're gripping that mat with your fingertips and your knuckles. It takes pressure off your wrists. All right, so let's inhale and arch our spine, looking up. Again, connecting our breath to our movement. Exhale, rounding, pressing into those hands. Two more, moving with your breath. your belly out. Good. Coming to neutral. Let's pull our right shoulder toward our right hip. Exhale. Inhale forward. Exhale. Left shoulder toward the left hip and press the right shoulder forward. One more time each side. We're moving into our sun salutations. First down dog of the day. Take um, three breaths to just pedal those heels up and down, gripping that mat. Find your breath. Good. Remember a nice long spine. Your knees can be very bent. Shoulders are rolled away from the ears. And it does not matter if your heels don't touch down. It does not matter. Good. Inhale, looking forward, slowly walking our feet towards our hands, coming to a flat back. So wherever you have to achieve a flat back, your hands can be anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Slight micro bend of the knees always. Exhale, forward fold, chest comes to rest on the thigh, knees can be very bent. Inhale, slowly roll it up, reversing a swan dive, reaching for the ceiling. Exhale, swan diving down. Forward fold, chest to the thighs. Inhale, flat back, looking forward. Exhale, planting our hands down in a high plank. You could always do this on your knees. Lowering elbows close, belly to the floor. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, curl your toes underneath you. Pull your hips back, down dog. Three breaths here. Inhale, lengthen, press into the mat. Exhale, press your armpits back towards your toes. Use that breath. Beautiful. Inhale, looking forward. Slowly walking the feet towards the hands. Flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly reversing our swan dive. That was one. So two more. You can do it at your own pace or follow along with me. A little bit of a back bend to reach high and swan dive it down. Knees are bent, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands down. Lowering chaturanga. Inhale, up cobra or up dog. If up dog is feel a pinch in your lower back, then don't come up that high. Good, pulling it back, down dog, three breaths here.
Inhale, slowly walk or float yourself towards the top of your mat, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse that swan dive. One more sun salutation, A. And then we're gonna go through the Bs. Swan dive it down, exhale. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or float back, high plank. Lowering chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, pull your hips back, down dog. Listen to the sound of your breath. Imagine the breath traveling to wherever you're tight. Refocusing on that area right behind your forehead. Good. Inhale, looking forward. Slowly walk your feet. Flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. And bring your hands down to heart in prayer. We're going to move through the sun salutation piece. Lots of movement. Going to feel a little bit more like a workout, but then right after we do three of them, we will move into some easy postures. And remember, at, at any point you need to just drop into child's pose, please do. This is your recovery day um, time. Inhale, I'm coming into chair. So kind of, you don't have to go super low. You can go as low as you want, but the goal is to not stick your butt way out or tuck it way under. Nice neutral spine. So we're coming into chair and on the inhale. On the exhale, we do a forward fold, chest to our thighs. Inhale, flat back, looking forward. Exhale, float or step back, high plank. Lowering chaturanga, cobra or up dog on the inhale. Exhale, curl your toes underneath you, down dog. Inhale, right heel raises and knee comes to nose, steps through. Moving into warrior one. So our back foot is at like a 45 degree angle. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, stepping back, high plank, lowering chaturanga. Inhale, pull it through, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left heel raises. Knee to nose, stepping through. Back foot comes to a 45 degree angle. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, step it back, high plank. Chaturanga on the exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. That was one sun salutation B. Three breaths here or child's pose. Two more of those. Find that breath. Down dog is recovery. Resting position. So if you need more, just drop those knees down, send your butt back. Keeping those shoulders active, gripping your mat. Inhale, looking forward. You can step or float up. By float, I just mean come up onto your toes, bend your knees, press into the mat with your hands, and gentle little hop up, flat back, looking forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, back to chair. Take your time. Exhale, stand it all the way up. Here we go, sun salutation B number two. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, looking forward. Exhale, step or flow back, high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right heel raises. Exhale, knee to nose, warrior one. Inhale here. Exhale, bring it back down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, pull your hips back, down dog. Inhale, left heel raises. Exhale, left knee to nose, step it through, warrior one. Exhale, drop it down. Chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Three breaths here. Great job, hang in there. I love learning the sun salutations. We always have a go-to flow. On a day you don't want to go take a class, you just need some movement. You can do three to five sun salutation A's and then B's. And then stretch and you gave yourself a beautiful little moving meditation. Good, inhale, looking forward, step or float back up. Flat back, looking forward. Exhale, forward fold, chest to the knees, that side of knees bent. Inhale, chair. Exhale, stand it all the way up, hands to heart. One more. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or float back. I mix it up, whatever my body needs. Lowering down, pulling through up dog. 
Exhale, send your hips back. Inhale, right heel high. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through, warrior one. Contract that back left glute. Good, exhale, step it back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left heel high. Exhale, left knee to nose, step it through, warrior one. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths here. Good, we built some heat, we're nice and warm. Find that breath. Beautiful, inhale. Looking for it, you can step or float forward, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming into chair. Exhale, stand it all the way up. Great job. All right, we're just gonna sit right down, move into our seated postures. My body really needs some attention, some deeper stretches. So I'm just moving right into cobbler, just moving your um, any kind of tissue out of the way so you're right on those sit bones. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, bending right at the hips, not the waist, the hips, you kind of so that we can maintain as flat back as possible. Pressing your knees down with your elbows as possible. And finding that breath. Relax the shoulders with every exhale, smile. Remembering my three breath rule. Good, moving your feet further out from you. Now just rounding it out, melting into it. It's a little uncomfortable. As long as there's no pain, just imagine that breath traveling to where you're tight. Really let the belly relax so the diaphragm can relax. So all the muscles that attach to it, which is so many, it helps them really get the message that we are recovering here. No need to be super tight. Can relax, talk to your muscles, they're listening. Okay, we're gonna spread our legs wide. All right, my hips are oddly tight. I don't have tight hips generally, but lately they've been a little tight from something. So I'm gonna do an inhale lengthen, exhale bending at the waist, hips. So we have a flat back, pull your toes towards you. Yes, I'm working on a whole hip flow. For all my horseback riding friends, all my tight-hipped friends, we hold a lot of tension in our hips. So just you don't know, have a go-to place. Just give your hips attention. Good. Inhale, lengthen the crown of your head. Exhale, go a little deeper. Good. And now we're gonna move it. Um, let's do half dragonfly, pulling one foot in. We square our shoulders as much as we can over the foot that the leg is that's extended. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, bending a little deep, just deepening the stretch a little bit. Remembering, relax the belly. On the inhale, we exhale, we deepen. Just three breaths per side. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and bring my right elbow to the inside, opening up my chest. Inhale, extending the opposite arm, just reaching high, not bending into it and closing my chest. I'm keeping my chest open. I feel like I get a deeper stretch this way. Every breath, lengthen the arm that's high in the sky. Beautiful, and switching sides. I'm gonna first start by squaring my shoulders over the extended leg as much as I can. Inhale, lengthen the crown of my head to the ceiling. Exhale, slight little bend at the waist. Good, and then opening up my chest. My left elbow comes down towards my left knee. Opposite arm reaches high. 
but that shoulder still, right shoulder still pulled away from my ear. The shoulder that's, ex the arm that's extended, that shoulder's away from the ear, not collapsed. Right, nice strong arms, reaching to high in the sky, chest is open, exhale slight. gently coming out of this. All right, let's move into some supine, important supine stretches for those of you who, like me, are super duper tight in the hamstrings, glutes that cause lower back pain. So I'm bringing it right on down, going into figure four. All right, so crossing an ankle over the opposite knee. If this is enough for you, great, breathe into it. If not, then I am, some call this seated pigeon or supine pigeon. I can just call it figure four. So bringing my hand in between my legs comes to the back of my thigh, interlace those fingers, use that elbow to press your knee away and breathe, big belly breaths. Relax your face, see a little smile. Let yourself melt into your mat. Plant that foot down, move your, put your hands on your hips and move them an inch to the right. Extend the leg out and cross the knee that's bent over your body, moving into a little twist and big breaths in. As we inhale, extend the belly, exhale through your mouth. <sighs> Trying to really let yourself melt into the mat on the exhales. <sighs> One more time, big breath in. Ah, awesome. All right, and bring it back to the center. Spine gets right back in line. Pull your knees in, just neutralizing the spine, rolling side to side. Opposite foot drops down, crossing the other ankle over the knee. Figure four here. Good, and press that be away with the elbow, find your breath, I'm so tight, so I really want to breathe, use my belly muscles, relax my belly muscles, we're not using them, we're letting them relax, just send the message to your brain, we're relaxing, release the tension, store it up in your body, from a hard workout, or just life running around, Show your body some love, some tension, slow down. Good. All right, putting your hand, dropping that foot down, hands on our hips, moving them an inch over to the left, extending the right leg out, dropping the left knee, and coming into a twist. Big breath in through the belly, exhale through the mouth. Ah, sink into that mat. No perfect form here, just fully relaxed. Ah, one more big breath in, extend those belly. And exhale. Ah, great job, awesome. All right, rolling back to a neutral position, right onto our backs, pulling those knees in, rolling back and forth. Um, let's do a little hip rub, so extending the left leg out on the floor, the right foot you can hold on to the outside of the calf around the ankle or even the outside of the right foot and pull that knee down to the floor. It's okay if the left hip raises high, mine certainly is. Big breaths. Relax your face. Relax that right inner thigh. Breathe into it. Beautiful, and switch. Right leg extends. Let the right hip raise up as we pull that left knee down towards the floor. Let's breathe into our belly. Fully relaxed. Gazing into the third eye area right behind your forehead. 
Relax your face. Beautiful. Now you can either extend your legs out to either corner of your mat, rest with your palms up, close your eyes, and do three to five minutes of a meditation. Just stopping the video now. Just listening to the sound of your breath. Gazing at that third eye, coming to normal breathing, and really letting yourself sink into the mat with every inhale, asking yourself what you want to invite in, and with every exhale, releasing what you no longer serves you. Or, so if you're going to do that, you can stop your video now and enjoy that. Or if you've got a mobility tool and you want to mobilize with me, I'm going to do a little time on my right glute, rolling around on my lacrosse ball. Just rooting around through those tight areas. Two guys in, so just overall tight, no specific spots. So now I'm gonna go across the grain of my muscle. Oh, there's a spot. Sometimes my tight areas are really deep and I, my body's tricking me. So it helps to contract the muscle and then relax. So I can get that lacrosse ball a little deeper. Breathe, relax the belly muscles. So I'm not tightening everything and not kind of allowing my body to relax to even get to those deeper areas. Good. And now I'm gonna roll across the grain of the muscle. Oh yeah, as I every time I go to roll across the grain of the muscle, I find another tight little knot back there. So I'm very overdue. So mobility work and um, just getting on the floor, it's really, we have to be consistent about it. Just like anything else, just like our water, eating well, sleeping. If you go three days with five hours of sleep, we feel like garbage. If I go three days without doing a little bit of this now, um, at least a little, um, really uncomfortable. I think you can get away with it maybe when you're younger, but when you like to lift heavy, when you like to be super active, and you're over 40, <laughs> this stuff really matters. It makes a huge difference. Our bodies tell our story. I always say I got that from somewhere. So if you're having discomfort Kind of pay attention, take care of it, show it some attention so it doesn't become a bigger problem, right? Okay, I feel like I got some good um, tenderized, tenderization, tender, <laughs> I've tenderized the muscle over there. All right, I'm switching sides. This is my good side, but lately it's been um, a little worse, so <laughs> clearly I've been neglecting my mobility the past couple days. So, it's okay. Get back to it. Good, just roll it around. Contract, relax. If you're finding like, oh, it's not doing anything, you might just be so super tight. You need to spend a little more time trying to learn to breathe. Relax the diaphragm, breathing into the belly. Something I'm always working on. My ribs don't love to expand because I'm always trying to tighten my core and have, feel like I have a flat belly, which kind of is not the best for tight muscles. It's not the best for digestion. It's not the best for stress. Sometimes we need to, you know, often throughout the day, we need to find our breath, take a few deep breaths, collect ourselves. So we're not reacting in a way we really regret. Can slow down. That's always the answer. Slow down. And a couple pressure waves across the grain of the muscle. Again, I've learned all this stuff from the Supple Leopard book written by Kelly Starrett. Um, if you have specific areas of discomfort and tightness, I highly recommend getting that book. And you can it's have it as a it's a great resource. And you have a little shoulder pain that's or any other little like nagging injuries. It gives you little routines to do and 
lots of tips and tricks, but the low cross ball is a, is a major helper. All right, well, we've mobilized, we moved. I'm now going to give myself three to five minutes of just shutting my eyes, collecting myself so I can re-enter my day in a calm and peaceful manner. Thanks for joining me, have a great one.